What's up you guys, Raif Durazi here, and today I want to talk about something that was just launched in recent weeks by the federal government, also known as Ready, Set, Prep, and the goal of this is to ensure that everyone has access to PrEP and that this is a key component in the fight against the HIV epidemic. I'll talk through who qualifies for this program, where you can find out if you qualify, and where you can go to get started on the application process, and also where you can go to find local HIV resources. So, in order to qualify for the Ready, Set, Prep program, you have to be one HIV negative because Prep is ineffective for those people who have HIV. It's similar to the medicine that people with HIV take, also known as PEP, which is post-exposure prophylaxis. However, PrEP is missing a key ingredient that is necessary for those who already have HIV. So PrEP is short for pre-exposure prophylaxis, and it's just that, it's for pre-exposure. Also, you will need a prescription for the medicine from a healthcare provider. And third, you have to be someone who does not already have prescription drug coverage. The purpose of this program is to give those who do not have healthcare insurance access to this medication. If you qualify for this program and your application is accepted, all medications are fully covered. However, the cost of necessary clinic visits and lab testings may vary depending on a person's individual income. So these are some of the ways you can find out if you qualify for the program. You can go and or contact a local AHF pharmacy and AHF can get qualified patients registered and enrolled so they don't have to do that on their own. Which is really helpful because sometimes this stuff can seem really overwhelming and there might be some jargon that you're not familiar with and not sure how to answer certain things in the application, stuff like that. You can also apply and enroll yourself by going to getyourprep.com. So you can apply there and then you can also find local HIV resources where you can get prescription for PrEP in your area. And they also provided a phone number if you're having trouble going through the enrollment process on your own. That number is 855-447-8410. So I wanna take a little time now to help you guys go through this process so it doesn't seem overwhelming or if you're a little reluctant, hesitant, and um, if you look at the website and it's just like, uh, this is kind of a little daunting and I'm not sure how this is gonna go, I will walk you through some of these steps, some of the options so that you can get a better idea, visualize it and take some of that anxiety away from the, the whole process. So I'm gonna start with the first option that I mentioned which was AIDS Healthcare Foundation and I'm gonna walk you through the steps on the website, how you can find a local pharmacy. So let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in aidshealth.org and that'll take us to the homepage for AIDS Healthcare Foundation. And then you see on the right here, there's a bunch of links to click from. Service locator is the top one, click on that. That'll open up a new tab. And then from here, you can just type in where you're located, city and state, or an actual address. I have location turned on in my browser, so it automatically finds my location here in LA. And then on the left, it'll, it'll show um, each location and what kind of services they provide. So you just scroll down until you find an AHF pharmacy. There's one in Hollywood and it's got the address, phone number. You can click here for the hours and that's shown on the bottom here. And you can just call them and they will guide you through the steps of applying. And if you qualify, then the steps for enrollment and going from there and getting your prep, really straightforward and easy. And it's nice to have someone to talk to who can guide you through the entire process and answer your questions. And now I'll show you how you can go through the enrollment process on getyourprep.com. All right, so I'm typing in getyourprep.com. And now here we are at the homepage. You're gonna click on individual and then fill out your personal information here. Uh, you'll notice under medication, you have the option for either one of the two prep medications, Descovy or Truvada. So I'm just gonna choose Descovy for now and then fill this out. And then on the bottom here, you have the option to choose what time is the best time to contact you. And then there's two options here basically for privacy. So the first one is about whether someone, if they call you, whether they can leave a detailed message in your voicemail. If you're the only one who has access to your voicemail box, then I think that would be okay and you can just say yes. If for some reason other people might hear your voicemails and you wanna keep it private, then you would hit no. And then down here, if you don't want anyone to send you physical mail, you would click this box. I don't care about, I don't mind getting physical mail and I'm really not worried about other people seeing my mail, so I'm just gonna leave it unchecked and go to the next page. Okay, and then on this page, if you are applying for yourself, you would hit patient. If you're 18 or under, you have to have a patient representative. So then this one is gonna to have to be clicked and it's supposed to be someone else who is applying for you. Here is some authorization and disclosure of personal health information. Click that box after reading it. And then another one, 
applicant declarations and authorizations required only if applying for the, that's the program we're applying for. So I'm gonna click that and I opt out of receiving a physical retail pharmacy card. I don't see why I would, so I'm just gonna leave that un unchecked and then signers, full name, and it'll create a signature for you. And then on the next page here, the person or physician who prescribed you PrEP, you're gonna put their information here. Name, all of that and whatnot. So presumably you have to have your prescription first before you can complete the application process. And that is something that you'll be able to do in the next walkthrough that I show you. Now, when I put in information here, on the next screen, it searches to see if I have any health coverage, and I do, so then it ends up telling me that I don't apply for this program. But if you don't have health insurance, and this clears, and your physician's information is all correct, then it should move on to the next step and get you access to PrEP. They also provided another website, it's locator.hiv.gov, and that's where you can type in your area code or your city, state, and find local HIV services near you. Super helpful, so we'll go through that right now too. The web address is locator.hiv.gov, and so you get to the screen like this, you can either use the location services on your browser to just locate where you are right now and then find services near you, or you can type in a specific location. So I'm gonna just randomly choose Boulder, Colorado. All right, and then it shows a map and it starts populating it with local facilities, and here on the left, it kind of shows what each facility has available as far as services. So let me see, I'm just gonna click on Boulder, and this one here, Boulder Valley Women's Health Center provides HIV testing and STI testing. Let's see, this guy here, it just says the General Health Center. This one provides HIV testing prep and STI testing. So this one would be good for getting a prep prescription. And it's got the address and phone number, so you can go ahead and contact them and even directions. So. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So once you get that information here and you're able to go get your PrEP prescription, then you can go to getyourprep.com and do the application steps like I showed you and put in your physician, the person who prescribed your PrEP medication, put their information in and then continue with the process for approval and get your PrEP for free. So on the government website, hiv.gov, they have listed the Ending the HIV Epidemic, a Plan for America initiative. And it's something that they want to implement in within the next 10 years. It's in four stages, and those are diagnose, treat, protect, and respond. So diagnose all people with HIV as early as possible, treat people with HIV rapidly and effectively to reach sustained viral suppression, which as we know means that we're undetectable, and once you're undetectable, you are untransmittable. So viral suppression is a key component of stopping the HIV epidemic. Prevent new transmissions, this is where PrEP comes into play, in addition to the implied effects of being undetectable and that also being a, a way of preventing the spread of HIV. So prevent new HIV transmissions by using proven interventions, including pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP, and syringe services programs. And then the last stage is respond quickly to potential HIV outbreaks to get needed prevention and treatment services to people who need them. What the specifics of each individual stage implies, I don't know, it doesn't say it on, on the breakdown, but today we're just focusing on the prevention stage, which has to do with PrEP in particular. So their goal, as they have listed, is to reduce the number of HIV infections by 75% in the next five years and at least 90% in the next 10 years, which is a huge feat, it's a huge goal, but it's I think it's definitely attainable by implementing multi-pronged strategy that not is just about PrEP, but also includes undetectability on the part of those with HIV, on having access to healthcare, treatment, educating, reducing stigma. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of work. Um, not any one of these things is gonna achieve that goal in the next five, 10 years, but I think this is a a major step in the right direction and I think especially helping those people who have financial difficulties and don't have access to healthcare that this is going to play a key role. So one of my concerns however, yes we have access to PrEP now. So the access to care is a huge component of that for those who are HIV negative but we can't forget that there's also the components of education and stigma reduction that are necessary for people to actually take action and to adhere to um, the solutions that are available to us. Because yes, 
there may be solutions available, resources, but if we're not educated and if we are caught up in fear and stigma, then those resources won't be used. That's been a huge problem even for those people who are living with HIV because they lack education or because the stigma is so bad. People have chosen not to remain adherent to their medication and therefore, you know, fall ill and, and many people die of AIDS unnecessarily even though that there's access to that medication and to healthcare services. There's been articles that I saw recently in the last couple days, one by the Washington Post talking about Facebook ads being a huge culprit in uh, spreading negative misinformation about PrEP. These ads are typically posted by legal groups and they are searching for people who have had negative experiences with HIV drugs to formulate class action lawsuits and they're talking about all these negative effects and the problem is that a lot of people who are HIV negative who see these ads assume that this applies to PrEP as well and that it's inherently dangerous to be taking this medication that they'll have liver, kidney problems. But the data and the facts show that especially in PrEP, it's extremely, extremely safe for people and it does not in majority of people have negative effects. And it's reiterated on the government website, it's safe to take PrEP. So the, pro the inadvertent reaction from a lot of these Facebook ads is now people are afraid of PrEP. People think that the drug is inherently unsafe and that they're gonna have all these negative reactions in their kidney, their liver, and who knows what else, bone density loss, stuff like that. Now, I've experienced bad side effects with PEP, which is post-exposure prophylaxis, for someone who already has HIV. I've had very bad side effects and previous medications that were not as well developed as they are today have given me really bad side effects in my kidney, in my liver, um, I have bone density loss as well. But the thing is with PrEP, it's missing that key part of the medication. It's missing a drug that is necessary for those with HIV. It's not necessary for those which, with, without HIV and just use as a um, protection measure. That key component is what is causing most of the toxicity and the negative side effects. So for PrEP, it's much cleaner and much more tolerable and safer to take and is safe to take as stated on the government website and in many studies. So in light of everything that I do on this channel, it's really important to me to communicate to you guys this huge resource that is now available to so many people who otherwise would be like, I can't afford the treatment, I don't have health care insurance and feel um, you know, disenfranchised because of that fact. Now there's a solution. This is really, really, really cool, really awesome. And it's gonna be a huge factor in ending the HIV epidemic here in the US at least. So for those of you who have been curious about PrEP or who, who are now curious about PrEP and would like to get a hold on it, please visit those websites, visit some resources and get started on that process because this is all about self-care, self-love, you know, protecting our health. We only have one life. And this is just something you can do to add to your regimen to make sure that you are staying protected and safe and helping to stop the HIV epidemic. I'm really hopeful about it. I'm excited about it. I think there's gonna be way more great things coming down the pipeline. We're constantly seeing improvements, advancements in the medicine. Um, now there's Descovy. It's not just Truvada that's available for PrEP. So you have two options now and it does give you the option on the government website to choose from the two. So do your research into those. If you guys want me to do more in-depth research into the two drugs so that you can make a more informed decision, I would be more than happy to do that. Please let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you liked it. I will definitely do a follow-up on this and um, elaborate more on the program and other facets of the program. Please let me know what you think. Let's start this discussion. What do you think? Is this going to be a major key component in ending the HIV epidemic in the US? Let me know your thoughts. Love to hear it. Stay tuned. As always, got a lot more great content coming for you.